Hello, everybody. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. I'm Jenny Weaver, and today I am going to lead you in powerful prayers. And I'm just excited about this week. I know that God has amazing things for you. So jump on, quickly share the video, and put down your prayer requests. Even if you're watching the replay, I want you to put your prayer requests down. Know that we're going to go back. We're going to read over them. We're going to believe with you. And we are going to see God's hand in your life this week. So good morning, everybody. As you're jumping on, tell me where you're watching from. And I am going to quickly share this video as well. I see Patty just jumped on. Hello, I see Ashley just jumped on. Good morning. Hello, and then tell me where you're watching from. I love to see all the different places. So tell me where you're watching from. Hallelujah, praise be to God. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day. Hallelujah. I hope you all had a great weekend. I'm going to pray for healing. I'm going to pray for breakthrough today. I'm going to pray for increase. I'm going to pray um, that you would have a double blessing on your life. I believe that God wants to pour out double honor, double restoration, double increase, double favor in your life today. So please help me share the video. And I'm going to give you... Um, some announcements as well about some amazing things coming up. Hello to everybody on God's 411 page and hello to everybody on my page, Jenny Weaver Worship's page. It's so good to see you. I see Texas is in the house. Come on, Texas. I'm actually going to be in Texas. I will be doing, um, I will be on the Life Today with James Robeson and Betty Ro Robeson. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Um, I will be um, in their live studio audience. So if you want to be a part of that, that's in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Tickets are free, and that's April 2nd for a live TV shooting. So definitely want to be a part of that. If you're in the area, come out. They have over 1 billion viewers worldwide. So <clears throat> again, that's April 2nd. Tickets are free. You can go to their Facebook page. It's also on my Facebook page and click the link for free tickets. I would love to have you in the audience when they do, um, when they interview me. Hello from Mexico. Hello from the Philippines, Lake City, Florida. So again, can you guys begin to share this video? I'm going to share it to one more page of mine. <clears throat> That's my Jenny Weaver Worships page. And thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for today. Hallelujah. I also want to give you one announcement. Well, two announcements before we begin to pray. And I do see the prayer request. I see prayers for your mom. Okay, we're going to pray for her. Prayers for your family. This is my book, The Sound of Freedom. The Sound of Freedom. You can go get it right now from Amazon. It's been out for about a month, not even a month, but it is still at the top of the charts for Christian reading. Um, so I want you to go grab this. My story was just featured on Sid Roth's It's Supernatural uh, show. So they did an interview on me. They did a reenactment of my testimony. You can see where I was delivered of de demons. I was... Uh, um, practicing witchcraft. I was homeless. So you'll actually be able to see my testimony come alive. They hired actors. They did this beautiful production. And so I want you to go check that out on Sid Roth. Everybody share that. It's on YouTube. It's on Sid Roth's website. It's on his Facebook page. Sid Roth, It's Supernatural. Coming right out of my book. I'm a first time author, The Sound of Freedom. And it talks about how you can bring the God of breakthrough into your toughest struggles. Do you need breakthrough in your life? Is there any area where you're saying, God, I need breakthrough here? Then I'm encouraging you, get the book. Stay on this broadcast. I'm going to pray prayers of breakthrough today in the mighty name of Jesus. And I thank God for what he's already doing. Someone just put, I watched it. It was so powerful. Hello. Good morning, Malika. And so, yeah. I also have a Sound of Freedom book club here right on Facebook. It's a private book club where 
me and the readers, a couple hundred people have been going through the book and I've given them probably an entire, another book of all the behind the scenes things that I wasn't able to put in my book. I talk about what happened when I was in a rehab for a year. I talk about what happened when I was locked up in jail. I talk about what happened with my father, how I hadn't seen him in 17 years and God restored. I talk about the, the deliverance ministry that happened and how I was climbing up the wall backwards and all of that stuff is talked about in my book club. Go, you have to have a copy of my book to be in the book club, of course. Grab a copy, it's like nine bucks, or you can get it from my website, JennyWeaverWorships.com. I am gonna pray, I am gonna pray. But I wanted to read just a little section of the book before we begin, because I believe that deliverance is your portion today. And I'm actually gonna read about when the Lord delivered me from demonic oppression. I hope this is all right. It's norm I normally sing, but I'm going to the UK uh, in a few days to London. And so I just got back yesterday from singing all weekend. And so I need to use wisdom and reserve my voice. I love that there's 450 people still on here. That means that you guys just love me for me. You don't just love me for my voice. So thank you. Please share this. I'm going to read about deliverance. <clears throat> So it says, although I asked the Lord into my heart, I still had to go through deliverance. And I can tell you it was a beautiful sight. I was invited one night to a deliverance service at my local, at a local church in my town. I was happy to go because I was curious about deliverance. At the end of the teaching, the speaker said, okay, we're going to pray for people now, individuals that want extra prayer. So they had us renounce all of these things. And then they, they broke us up into individual groups if we wanted prayer. A lady came over to me and said, you know, do you want me to pray for you? I said, sure, because I knew in my heart I was saved and that I loved the Lord. And so there was absolutely no way that I had any demons in me, on me, influencing me or oppressing me in any way. Because that's what I was taught. I'm about to show you guys something. Stay with me here. So she began to pray and she looked me right in my eyes and she said this. She told me to keep my eyes open and she said, I see you in there in the name of Jesus. Come out. Uh, you can imagine my surprise when she said that. I was thinking this woman has lost her mind. There's absolutely no evil spirits in me. I'm a Christian. She went on like that for a few minutes. Now, mind you, I had gone and said the prayer, Jesus, come into my heart, make me new. And so I thought all the years of the occult, all the years of witchcraft, all the years of perversion, I was in homosexual relationships. I was practicing spells, incantations. I was cutting my wrists. I was suicidal. I had planned to murder my mother as a teenager. So I thought because I said that little prayer at the altar and went back to my seat, that everything had just jumped ship and took off. That's not what happened. I had to go through deliverance. This is gonna help some of you. So she went on like that saying, come out in Jesus name. And I stood there uncomfortable and awkward wanting it to be over so I could go home and go to bed. That's right, Wilson, praise the Lord. But then all of a sudden, she placed her Bible on my head. You can watch this on the Sid Roth reenactment. It's quite interesting how they did that. And she placed her Bible on my head. And she said, I command you, evil spirit, come out of her. And all of a sudden, it was like I was watching a movie. It was like I had no control over my body anymore. I was just watching what was happening. I could see, hear, feel everything going on. But I could not, I had no control over what came out of my mouth, what I did with my body, and the demons that were in me, on me, wherever, began to manifest. Now, it's so interesting because one of the ladies that was there that brought me there, Gina Barron, Gina Barron is on here right now, and she was one of the women, there's two Ginas, I talk about that, and they show in, in Sid, Roth, Sid Roth reenactment, the two ladies that brought me. Gina Barron is on here. She can testify at this deliverance ministry. I began to manifest. 
and began to take my fingernails and try to recut open the scars from when I cut as a teenager. Um, let me see where I'm at. So one of the members of the deliverance team, they had, they actually had men come over and hold me down because I was trying to lunge out and attack. I was going crazy. I was trying to go up the wall backwards. I was squirming all over the place. I was growling, screaming. I was talking back to the, the demons were talking back to the lady, laughing at the lady saying, we have her. We're not going to let her go. We've been in here a long time. And mind you, I was in church on the worship team. In church on the worship team. So I don't know about doctrine, but I do know about my experience. I can't tell you about theology, but I can tell you what I lived through. And so she began to go through all this stuff. I'm skipping and after about an hour or so, it felt like more like two hours. I don't know, Gina, can you tell me? We were there quite a long time. I was free and free indeed. The, the demonic spirits left me. I began to get uh, a, a sense of freedom that came over me. It was a powerful experience. From that point, I became a worshiper like I had never worshipped before. I began to understand the process of being restored in my spirit and in my emotions. I began to be restored from the hurt that men had put me through, the abuse that I had gone through. The Lord began to restore me. And some of you are on here right now. You may have not gone through drug addiction. You may not have been homeless, but you need restoration in your life. You need restoration from divorce. You need restoration from what maybe a pastor or a church leader or a brother or sister in Christ has done. You are looking for restoration. There's healing that needs to take place in your spirit. So your emotions aren't all over the place. And God wants to restore you today. If he did it for me, this was years ago but if he did it for me he can do it for you right where you are the deliverance delivering power of jesus christ is available you can call on the lord jesus and be saved the bible says whosoever whoever calls on the name of the lord shall be saved so we are going to pray we are going to pray. I encourage you, again, get my book. I walk you through um, seven days, a Sound of Freedom Challenge, which I'm going to do live on Facebook next week, starting Monday, March 25th for seven straight days. I'm going to get on at 8 p.m. Jenny Weaver Worship's page, and I'm going to walk you through the Sound of Freedom Challenge in the back of my book where I give you all these decrees. I give you morning prayers, declarations, devotions, and even there's a part where you can journal your nighttime reflections. I'm going to walk you through this. Why am I going to do it? Because there's so many people that are hurting that need to be free. I go to conferences, I go to revival meetings, and I'm telling you, people manifest in every single one of those meetings. They're saved, they're believers, but they have deep hurts. They've been abused, they're dealing with fornication, they're dealing with lustful thoughts, they're dealing with bitterness, unforgiveness, and the enemy wants to keep them stuck by saying, you're a Christian, you're fine. The devil is a liar. And Jesus wants to set you free. Can we pray? Please begin to share this video. Just that little bit that I shared will help somebody on your page. Share it with every single person that you know. We're living in a day and age where we can no longer hide our faith. We can no longer hide the truth of the gospel. And the gospel of Jesus Christ is Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. And you cannot come into the Father unless you come through Jesus. The Father wants you to come unto him today. So I am going to read some decrees and declares, uh, declarations today. And actually, I was reading from this book this morning. It's called The Power of the Devil. Unlock New Levels of Supernatural Blessing in Your Life. It is by Ryan Lestrange. If you go get my book and you scroll down, it'll say these two books are all, all bought together frequently. You can get this book or just go to Amazon and grab it. And in the back, I've really been reading these almost every single day, just decreeing it over my life. And today I opened up to the one about healing. 
And so I want to just pray that over you today. If you have a prayer request, continue putting those down. So the scripture that I'm going to start off with is Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word and he healed them and delivered them from their destructions. Now we're going to decree these things. I want you to just receive. And if you can say them as well, if you can catch on, save this video, replay it every single day. I decree an increase of healing and deliverance in my life. I decree that my body is healthy. I walk in divine health. I command sickness and disease to go from me now. I say that every fiber, tissue, organ, and gland in my body is normal. I confess my cells are whole and healed. I confess my bones are strong and normal. I confess, again, I'm going to say it again. I confess my bones are strong and normal. I release the healing power of God from the top of my head and to the tips of my toes. I decree freedom and deliverance in my life. No demon can harass or torment me. I am not subject to demonic intimidation or attack. I walk in power. Hallelujah. I walk in authority and I confess freedom in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I'm going to go to the decrees. These are powerful. Stay with me. Hallelujah. Come on, stay with me here. Share the video. This is the decree, the double, double. He goes through tons of scriptures in the Bible that proclaims double blessing on your life. It's time for us to walk into the double blessing. Double, double is mine. Promotion is mine. Come on, type that in. Wisdom is mine. Favor is mine. In the name of Jesus, insight and counsel belong to me. I refuse to be limited or held back. It is my time and season for great exploits. I break lack. I break fear. I break worry. I break distress in the mighty name of Jesus. I bind and break all demonic powers trying to cloud my mind. Some of you are getting set free right there where you are. I bind and I break all demonic powers trying to cloud my mind. I break confusion. I break control. I break limitation. And I release heaven's agenda in my life in the name of Jesus. I release heaven's glory. I release heaven's healing. I release the growing and expanding kingdom of God on this earth. I can do the impossible. I can see the invisible. I move in the supernatural. Jesus, I feel God. I am a mountain mover. I am a nation shaker. I am a city taker. I am a child of the king. And royalty is my portion in the mighty name of Jesus. I'm unstoppable. I will not be defeated. I rule in Jesus. I reign in Jesus. I prophesy by the power of Jesus. I live by the faith of Jesus. I move by the love of Jesus. I am under the direct influence of heaven and all of its splendor. I, do, I don't think average, ordinary, or mundane thoughts. Come on. I am, my thinking is not limited. I think big, bold, faith-filled thoughts. I think God thoughts. I added that one in. I, my heart is filled with mega dreams. I refuse to move backward. I'm moving forward in the name of Jesus. I'm walking in multiplication. I'm walking in wisdom. I'm walking in power. I'm walking in authority. And I am walking in the double double in the mighty name of Jesus. Come on, begin to praise God. Father, I thank you for the needs on this live right now. I thank you, God, for the people that are confessing their healing. Come on, begin to confess it in the name of Jesus. I bind and break sickness. I say to you, spirit of infirmity, go in the name of Jesus. You spirit of insanity, go in the name of Jesus. I command all mental diseases to be bound up and broken now in Jesus' name. I command bipolar, go now. Mood disorders, go now. Schizophrenic, go now in Jesus' name. 
double-mindedness go now in jesus name i thank you father that you heal pneumonia you heal cancer you're healing tumors right now in jesus mighty name you're healing heart disease you're healing glaucoma you're healing deafness you're healing people's legs not working i command your legs to work now in jesus name i said work now in Jesus' mighty name. If you're in a wheelchair, you're in a walker, you're on crutches, get up. Get up. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, I speak the restoration power of, of Jesus on your family, on your marriage, on your relationship with your children, on your relationship with people in your church. I decree and declare that the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, is now guarding your heart. I thank you, God, that they are going to keep their eyes steady on you. They're going to put their face to you like a flint, not be moved, not be shaken. Jesus, my God, I command in in Fertility, go now. I speak life to your womb. I speak life to your family. I command life to come forth in the name of Jesus. Everything that's in your home, you demonic spirits of fear that are tormenting even the children in their sleep. Oh my God. I bind up spirit of fear right now in the name of Jesus. The fear to step out. The fear to move past what you've been doing, the fear to do what God's called you to do, it breaks now in Jesus' mighty name. And we release favor and we release the goodness of the Lord. We release the mercy of God on your life in Jesus' name. I command autism, go now in Jesus' name. Somebody needs to believe God for that. Autism goes now. There is no autism that is bigger than the power of Jesus Christ. We won't settle. We won't just say this is just how it is. But we will stand on the truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And if Jesus said, the Bible says that by his stripes were healed, then we can take that to the bank in the name of Jesus. By his stripes, I'm healed. Everybody in my family's healed. Everybody in my family is whole. Everybody in my bloodline is healed. Everybody in my bloodline is whole. They're saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I command insomnia go, insomnia go, the tossing and the turning, the worry in the night season, go now in Jesus name, go now in Jesus name. Some of you need to be healed in your soul from trauma. Some of you need to be healed in your soul, not only delivered, but you need healing in your spirit. And that's going to come through confession and it's going to come through forgiveness some of you need to forgive right now, right now, right now. Even the Holy Spirit is bringing names to your mind. As soon as I said that a name popped up, you hadn't thought about that person in so long. The Holy Spirit just brought that to your attention. There needs to be forgiveness there. Go ahead and forgive them. Forgive them in the name of Jesus. Some of you need to be saved. Someone shared this on, on their timeline and you don't even know the Lord. You need to be saved. Ask Jesus into your heart right now. It's that easy. Ask Jesus into your heart. And follow him all the days of your life. Follow him. Follow him. He said, if any man comes after me, he has to deny himself, pick up his cross, follow me. Follow him. Those are the instructions. Follow. Confess that Jesus is Lord. You will be saved. If you confess that and you were saved right now on this broadcast, don't be ashamed. Type, I did. Oh, I thank you, God. I thank you, Lord, that people are forgiving. There's just, a, there's just a moving of the Holy Spirit on this live. I'm telling you, there's a moving of the Holy Spirit on this live. So, Father, we thank you for what you're doing. God is breaking witchcraft, manipulation, control, perversion. My God. I thank you, Father, that you are almighty and powerful and that you love your people so much, God, that you want to see them set free. Okay, Anna, I seen that for your 10-year-old son, Alex, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, God. We decreed already that that spirit of fear is broken and spirit of torment is broken. Just begin to confess it and believe it. Thank you, young woman or young man. I don't know can't see your profile they just gave their life to jesus we welcome you to the family get in a good bible believing church that believes in the moving and gifts of the holy spirit and they're not dead dry and just a mess get into a good powerful church don't settle 
get under somebody that's going to help you. Father, we thank you for what you're doing right now. We thank you. Again, I was reading those decrees from this book, The Power of the Devil. It's one of my favorites now for my morning declarations. It's by Ryan Lestrange. La and then Strange. I was also reading earlier from my book, The Sound of Freedom. It's available right now from Amazon or JennyWeaverWorships.com. If you get it from there, you'll get a signed copy. I was just featured on the Sid Roth Show. And I will be on Life Today as well with James and Betty Robeson. I keep saying Robeson, but I believe it's Robeson. And so um, that'll be April 2nd. If you want to get live tickets, tickets to come to the live um, TV event in Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas, you can do that April 2nd at 7 p.m. Go to their website, click live ticket, grab yours now. It'll be packed out. So I want to encourage you to do that. If you like that little clip that I read, join my book club, the Sound of Freedom Book Club. If you like the decrees, join me next Monday, March 25th, seven straight nights of the Sound of Freedom Challenge. Do you need freedom? Do you need freedom from rejection? Do you need freedom from oppression? Do you need freedom from eating, overeating? Do you need freedom from drug addiction? Do you need freedom from smoking? Do you need freedom from lust, perversion, low self-esteem? These are, these are things that Christians are dealing with. Then I challenge you, join the Freedom Challenge, seven straight days. Thank you, Adriana, just put the book up there. You can click that right there. It's on there and get that book. Uh, let me think what else. Yeah, so Sid Roth, go check out that reenactment. It was amazing. I'm watching myself or this actress play me, which was really interesting. God is just doing amazing things, and he wants to do those same things in your life. So I bless you in the name of the Lord. Catherine Mullins is going to be on this page tomorrow leading worship, and I'm going to be back with you Wednesday. <clears throat> uh, what else did I want to tell you? Oh, consider being a supporter of this page. You know, the people on this page, Jim and Kim, are amazing people. They love and support me. They would do anything in the world for me. So consider being a supporter of this page so they can get the gospel to all the countries all over the world. And I thank God for you. I thank God that you continue to support me. You guys have really just met me. You've been so loving, so supportive. You've been a, a great kingdom family. And I thank God for you. I will see you next time. Be blessed in the name of the Lord. Bye.